So golf yesterday did not go how I wanted it. Practice was good. We started doing all the chipping practices and uh, all the different um, sort of practice games, professional practice and that sort of stuff, which was great. So chipping wasn't bad, but the rest of it was horrible. My swing just all over the place. I'm thinking about too many different things. I had a uh, lesson or two with my mate Ryan at Creekside and yeah, I'm just thinking about too much stuff, too many swing thoughts, just getting negative thoughts, just couldn't hit a ball. I just need to grind longer, man. I just need to grind on the range. Playing again today with another mate, Silvio, who's a member out here. And uh, hopefully it will go a bit better today. I just need to think less and just swing, just go for it. Just try and concentrate less on what's going on. But yeah, not a positive start of the week. Golf ain't going too good. And it's raining. Can't have it all day. So please remember, if you do like what you see and you want to see more, then please hit that thumbs up button, give us a like, uh, mention down in the comments anything that you want to see in particular, uh, any suggestions or anything that you've been going through, if you've got any tips or questions about anything, you know, this is all our journey, so we want to help each other out, um, then please let us know. And also don't forget, if you want to get uh, updates and notifications about when videos are coming out and any other content like that, then hit the subscribe and the little bell button that way it'll actually tell you when something is out but yeah thanks so enjoy the video so here is our uh, chip practice we do before our rounds now or we try to anyway we get a three foot ring put it over a target well this one's actually ends up being a one and a half foot on either side three foot diameter but you know if you aim small you miss small but yeah the aims have been taking five balls each we'll do maybe five six different spots around the green so doing different shot types yeah, and lengths and then yeah the one with the most points accelerate. wins you get uh, five points for holding out two points for a lip out and one point for getting it in the ring and uh yeah so this is something we've been struggling with a lot recently is all the chipping that's where all my strokes have been coming from so just duffing chips just not getting good contact and tempo good. through the swing See, Mark is getting quite used to it. He's a bit of a bandit with the chipping, though. So, this is something that we're going to go in a bit more detail about in uh, future videos, um, going more into uh, different practice games like pressure practice and chipping, putting, and you know, stuff on the range as well for irons and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, this one in particular helps a lot if you're doing uh, for like pre round, if you're going out, even during the week, if you're just doing a bit of practice. But mainly just before you're going out and play, it helps a lot. Um, it's really improved uh, my game so far, even just in the past few weeks. Uh, my scores have dramatically gone down purely just from having the confidence uh, of whenever I like miss a green, come up short, anything like that. Um, and I'm just, you know, on the fringe or around the greens. I know that with a little bump and run with my pitching wedge that I'm practicing a lot now. Uh, I know that I'm going to basically up and down, so chip and a putt, or sometimes even chip out. So it just boosts your confidence, so like you have even more chance of getting in. And uh, yeah, it is the most important thing for us as amateur golfers for you to practice. I mean, I cannot advocate that anymore. It is the most important thing to do. Spend your time practicing your short game. You can spend all you want on the range, like we're going to be doing, working on different drills and your swing path and your tempo and everything else. But if you want something that will instantly help to at least make you feel a bit better about your game and that will actually encourage you to spend the time to practice more, is just chip and putt. And your scores will go down, you'll get happier, you'll enjoy golf a lot more. And I'm telling you now, it is the most important thing to do. Practice your short game, the most important thing. And I'm just loving the views, yeah. man. The views you get here, mainly on the 13th tee and sort of that part of the back nine of Creekside is just beautiful. Awesome golf. Oh my Keep God, going. this literally took, Aaron was stuck in the bunker. Yeah. Maybe this was probably, probably was even yeah, more than five. five. He just couldn't get out and he finally did it. This is my well, mate Silvio, he's a member at the club. And uh, we've been playing a bit of golf with him as well. Oh, saucy. <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh. So you're actually going to be seeing a lot more content uh, with Silvio as well. He's going to be doing a lot more stuff with me. We play a lot of golf together, so 
naturally it means we'll be doing a lot of videos and different bits of content. So we're going to be okay. doing like uh, course vlogs, round vlogs, on, and general chit chat about what we're working on and just, yeah, about golf. <laughs> so today's golf hasn't really gone as well as I thought it was going to be. So started out not too bad. I was sort of getting working my way around, and then I got to around and I've been playing, and uh, I've been playing with Silvio. And uh, as you see, he's a uh, he's a good golfer. He used to play a lot back in college, and uh, he shoots like low 80s to high 70s now. And so that's what I'm striving for well, at the moment. I'm supposed to be doing mid 80s, high 80s, but I'm shooting like mid 90s. That's where I'm at right now. But uh, yeah, so we've been working on a lot of stuff today like shortening the backswing and then really just you all about tempo and not really trying to swing in so I dig down deep but I like start going hands first and flipping my hands and just trying to lead my arms rather than getting that hip rotation everything in there so I've uh, been working on that and I've actually been starting to like hit shots and hitting them where I want them to go so improvements slowly but yeah not a great day so I'm just gone back out again. I'm just out here, Creekside again for another round. Uh, just try and fix some stuff and uh, not have a bad day. So yeah, we'll see how this round goes. So here we go, the annoying thing. My divots. So I'm hitting, say I'm aiming. I'm aiming this way. So I'm aiming straight like that. So it should be, my path should be coming here. But I'm coming like that, but opening that face, so coming through. So I'm just coming over the top and just let some slice around, end up short, end up further down there. Or if I hit it, it's kind of good, I'll hit it square on the face and it'll just go dead straight left. Hmm. And that is another thing as well that I've learned from a lot of people around here. So you can really tell a lot about your game by your divots. So the main thing I've gathered from my divots, and even when things go right as well, uh, on my practice swings, my swing path, because I'm getting more relaxed, I can see is more neutral or going out. But when I'm then getting excited and going in for the swing, I'll end up over swinging or like putting more power into it and I'll end up swinging left. And your body just subconsciously wants to correct itself. So if I'm swinging hard left, like it knows, so it's leaving the face slightly open. So instead of just going left, it's going left and like that, which is then producing the side spin, which then creates that slice. And uh, yeah, if you were, if you play to it, it can work, but that's more of a band-aid than a fix. That's what I've done uh, a few weeks ago now filming this. So probably just after this content that you've been looking at there. And uh, yeah, I've been sort of band-aiding it. Now I'm really working at changing my swing path from actual swing. So it's actually starting to go okay. But anyway, divots, you can learn a lot from them. Look at them. If you're taking lessons, which I strongly recommend, or anything like that, then let that person know what your divot pattern's like. And that can help you a lot more by knowing a bit more about your swing like that. Look at your divots. Uh, whenever you're taking shots, especially if things go bad and when things go right. That's the main one as well. Look at your divots, see what's going on. You can tell a lot by it. Um, you can tell what your swing path's like, if you're leaving club face open or closed. Um, you know, is it before the ball? Are you chunking it or is it too after? Are you thinning it? And also been having that with my driver as well, where I've actually been sort of topping the ball, so then forcing the ball to actually shoot down and take a divot out of the ground from the ball when i was always used to be thinking when i first started that it was the club and somehow how am i chunking the ground it's the ball when did golf get so hard why is it so hard man i could go from striping a drive flushing an iron and then just now just went on a par five <coughs> destroyed the hole sorry pardon me but yeah, I just don't get why golf was so hard like that. It's just so unpredictable and up and down. I just went on a par five there, crushed the drive, went out of bounds on a three wood. So then I was just trying to do like a pit, like drop in, pitch and wedge. I like, was kept duffing that. So then I just tried to do some chipping, just some, or just some simple 
pit shots with uh, 60 degree. Doing uh, yeah, simple pit shots with 60 degree coming in and I was just duffing everything. Like, no matter what I was doing, I was just duffing, duffing, duffing. It's just the simplest things. But it's just so many swing thoughts going on that you end up, the longer you do it, the more you end up duffing and it's just crazy. It's like, why can't it just work out? It's easy. See, this is what it's all about. Coming out of the nice scenery. Just doing some practice. Him playing some holes by myself, just chilling out, grinding away. This is how I want to spend my days off. This is the reason why I moved to Oregon. This is beautiful. This is what I want to see. Down here at the 16th par 5, over the hill, I ended up right by those bunkers upside that tree. I had to get three wood, cut it all the way around, bait it. Only gone and landed it on the green, pin high. What's going on? This new swing, this new swing change, it's doing me wonders, man. So today, going up in the morning before work, we're going to go hit the gym, we're going to do some cardio, we're going to go on the treadmill, try and get some interval running and walking sort of done, just get heart rate up, uh, do some of that, and then we're going to do some weights as well, using weight machines, dumbbells, I'm just going to do a bit of strength training, so a bit of an overall condition there. And then, uh, so I'm trying, I'm going to try and do that now, I want to do that like four times a week, because I need to get in better shape. I'm not running out of breath all the time, but I can tell that I just need more strength and just like better flexibility, everything that's going to try and help my golf game improve. I just need to try and do the best that I can, give myself the tools to do it. And then uh, after that, we're going to hit the driving range. I'm just going to try, I'm just going to pull out the 9 iron and I'm just going to initially feel the hip turn. I just want to try and get that feeling I've been trying to do with Ryan. Uh, guys at the club, uh, just to try and get more rotation and not flip with my hands, not come over the top, like actually just try and turn through the ball and make good contact and just half swings, or what feels like half swings, which are actually full swings for me, which is weird, and just try not to hit, attack the ball, just smooth. Tempo, turning and tempo. That's what we're going to work on today. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I am out for now. I'm going to go sweat and burn. One thing you should always make sure to do when you come out to hit the range or even play is warm up, warm your body up. I was just swinging, oh, finally hitting good on the range. Didn't warm up, just went out. It's pretty cold outside. I pulled tight on my lower back. And now I'm just sitting here on the bench. That's our driving range here at Creekside. I don't know what to do. I should get ice, but I can't move. Someone help me. What I have taken from all of that is um, so with the divots I was talking about when I'm swinging, I'm just swinging over the top, leaving that face open. I'm not rotating, I'm not turning, so I'm just hacking, bringing it over. When I need to, when I'm coming back, I need to really get back, shallow out that arm, I need to shallow it down. So when I then turn the hips, you know, face the target, power through, I can actually bring my wrists and my arms round my body, not over the top. And that way I'll start getting a better swing plane. But yeah, that's just gonna take a lot of work, which I'll do. Um, also, oh my God, stretching. Stretching, uh, warming up before round practice, just in general in the morning for every day. We're gonna look at some different stretches, what I can do. I have problems mainly with my lower back a lot, so I'm gonna look at the stretches for that. But we're gonna be looking at overall general golf warming up. Um, and then eventually things to do with the gym, just how to keep you in shape. Then we'll start looking at food as well, nutrition. I just need to keep better shape and just start looking after my body better in general. But we'll look into that as well, about how to do it really for like trying to improve your golf game and uh, getting fit and flexible. So yeah, we'll focus on that probably a bit more going forward. And as I always say, again, please don't forget to subscribe, press that button, subscribe, 
then press that little bell as well. That way it gives you all the notifications. So uh, whenever I upload any content, your phone will just go, hey, Ben Warren Golf is trying to chat to you and talk to you about this stuff. I mean, it won't say that, but it will give you a notification anyway. And uh, yeah, don't forget to comment, tell us anything that you liked, uh, anything you don't like. I mean, I'm always up for discussions about anything to see what will make this content better. And yeah, we'll try and improve it. Um, get a thumbs up, please like, share it, share it between your friends, any other golfers that you know that are in the same struggle that we are, because we are all in this together just to improve our game. So uh, yeah, don't forget guys, work hard, work smart, let's improve our game.